All right, in the same vein, uh, we took a look at the marine and blue economy. A lot of activity is also playing out in that space. And senior business correspondent Ifunaya Eze put this together. In August 2023, President Tinubu inaugurated a dedicated ministry of marine and blue economy, signaling a pivotal step towards harnessing Nigeria's maritime resources. The move garnered commendations from industry stakeholders for its visionary outlook. Positioned as a promising alternative to oil dependence, Nigeria's extensive coastline along the Atlantic Ocean offers strategic leverage for maritime development. While Nigeria boasts a diverse maritime sector encompassing shipping, ports, fisheries, offshore exploration, tourism and infrastructure, historical challenges persist, including infrastructure gaps, regulatory hurdles, security issues and environmental degradation. However, the establishment of the Ministry of Marine and Blue Economy signals a comprehensive strategy to address these challenges and unlock the sector's potential. The subject of the blue economy has become very popular in Nigeria and severally adumbrated at diverse fora. This must have played a part in the decision of the President of Nigeria to create the Ministry of Marine and Blue Economy a major milestone seen as a culmination of years of advocacy in the industry and indeed welcomed by many. Under Minister Adigbo Yegao Yetola's leadership, collaborative efforts with industry players aim to revolutionize the maritime landscape and capitalize on economic opportunities. We are now have a ministry that caters essentially for variety activities. And we really believe that uh, we secure additional multiple lives in the area of marine and domain. With initiatives such as port infrastructure rehabilitation and inland dry port construction, Nigeria aims to streamline trade processes and propel sectoral growth. In maritime shipping, fishing and aquaculture, comprehensive mapping initiatives are underway to better understand Nigeria's maritime ecosystem. These efforts underscore a commitment to strategic growth and development in alignment with global trends. Part of the flagship ministry is uh, fishing. I want us to be able to do so more than that in terms of contribution to economic growth, job creation, improved livelihood and environmental sustainability. We can create a lot of jobs. As Nigeria advances strategic initiatives in the blue economy, it positions itself as a regional leader in maritime trade, fisheries, tourism and offshore energy. President Tunibu's administration, with its visionary outlook, strategic investment and sustainability commitment, lays the foundation for a prosperous future in the blue economy. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.